Hey everyone, welcome to the continuation of the Raven Sword Shadowlands. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of an issue that I have recording this session here because, believe it or not, this audio that you're hearing right now of me talking is actually separate from me playing right now. That's because when I was, was uh, recording the session separately, uh, the audio for some reason did not get recorded when I was well, recording the audio. So it, it was great because now I have to do this uh, commentary here and it's going to be like completely almost irrelevant to the whole gameplay now of me playing at the same time, which is what I like doing. I like recording myself playing the game and now that audio is missing for this, like for the first two episodes at least. I have the rest of the audio for the other episodes, so those will be fine afterwards. But pretty much what I said, or I'll say this now again since I've, I was going to say in my original recording, but I do appreciate your guys' support of support of uh, basically saying like, yes, you would like to see me play this game. And yeah, I really do appreciate the support from you guys. I really do. Thank you. Now, basically, I think I mentioned somewhere around here that uh, I did find a way of like changing the sensitivity for the for the moving around the joystick or looking around in the game because if you like press start or the center button and go to options it will show sensitivity and yeah I figured out too that you can add attributes here uh, and there's like vigor endurance agility and strength strength I believe is like your the basic attack and what you can carry agility is your range for your uh, archery shootings and endurance is your health and your uh, vigor is your health I think wait I think uh, oh I already screwed up this audio <laughs> whatever and okay so there's good fortune I'm like watching the video while I'm doing this so it's kind of weird uh, fast learner writing quickness Yeah, and these are the abilities that I can only learn right now. I find out about other things later. Probably sometime down the road. Spoiler alert. Or actually, I don't think that's really a spoiler alert. But I'm looking around trying to find the track. Or I found out that you can't actually like... There's no cursor pointing to where you gotta go next. It just tells you where you have to go. Not really sure why I stood there for a reason. <laughs> I'm sure I had a reason, I just don't know. So basically, we're just exploring a little bit of the town here. I talked to Nicholas here, I guess. I bid you He's welcome. like, I bid you welcome. And he came and talked to him, so you just either say bye or trade. <laughs> and basically, that's all he's got is food. Lots and lots of food. And unfortunately, right now, we don't have that much gold, so... Can't really do too much with it. And he's got some pork. But yeah, he pretty much just supports food for you, so... There's not really too much you can do with him. And this lady, Nina, I think... I think it was Nina. Hello. And pretty much the same thing. Buy, trade. Sells a little bit of food, but mostly pendants. Amulet of health, which gives you endurance. And also strength. Uh, was that stars? I guess. And a defense. Yeah, I guess it's stars, so it gives you two effects. And obviously that looked like a tent for a possible shop further on down the road, but it, it wasn't there. And at this point I was testing the sensitivity because I, I was trying to see if it can work better. This did work a little bit better, but it also made the aiming like rotate or do a kind of a slide effect. And after a while of doing it, I switch it back. Yeah, I switch it right back to just reducing it just a little bit. That way it's... You know, it's somewhat fluent without being, like, too slippery, slidey. 
Then we enter to Dunner's Hastings, or Dunner Hastings's uh, place. He's like, greetings, friend, and I hear the Archmage has sealed himself in his tower. And for some reason, I'm just sitting there. There we go. <laughs> yes, I heard he's gone mad and refuses to see anyone. People say that they hear strange noises and see bright flashes of light coming from his tower window. Wizard's business is a strange beast. It's kind of a strange statement. I hear... No, I already did that. <laughs> How's business for you? Well, things have settled down a little since the war ended. But now that the roads have gotten so dangerous, I'm having trouble getting materials. I had a shipment of iron ingots that were supposed to be delivered to me yesterday, but it went missing somewhere in the eastern forest. I'll see if I can locate the missing shipment. <laughs> Tough times, I can hope to see better things from you. Or get better for you. Oh, thank you, sir. I, re I, I never did look at that second option, because the second option is always usually like, no. <laughs> Saying no to the person. And yeah, I pretty much found found out that this is the blacksmith and basically sells weapons for you. And I was looking at these weapon stats because I was comparing the long sword to the broad sword, and they're well, obviously the long sword is better somehow by just a little bit though. And of course they got the stronger materials there, the white iron long swords. Which, pretty much, I make it my goal to save up some money and get that sword. Get something better. And there's a hoodie, so that way I can look like a member from Assassin's Creed. Some shields. Random ass shields. I think... Yeah, I... I'm sure, yeah, I'm not going to really say much. If I say anything about it, I'm just going to spoil something. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty much I set up a goal to help out this uh, guy and see if I can get the iron ingots for him since, you know, it seems like it's a good idea. And I tend to, like, do uh, side missions like even in the Elder Scrolls games I usually did a lot of side missions first and did less of the main story for a while yeah so I gotta go somewhere in the eastern forest to find the iron ingots which is pretty much that gate straight ahead And I think somewhere at this point I'm trying to find a map, which I do, and I backed out for some reason. <laughs> See, this is just awkward when I'm, like, n not playing it. But, yeah, see, this is, at this point I realize that the map, or the landscape for this whole game is so much short. It's, it is pretty small, but, you know, at the same time... What do you expect? It's like the game was around 500 megabytes of memory to download. And, you know, for a, a small, simple Ouya game, it's not too bad. It's got some space, quite a bit of running around that you can do. Yeah, and I learned that if you press the right trigger, you can pull out your sword and I was trying to mess around with buttons because I thought there was a way of like pulling the sword back, but he just does that himself after standing there a little while of not using the sword. Which I keep doing is freaking defending and attacking, so just give it some time and he puts it back. And yeah, there's also a first person perspective, just like Elder Scrolls. I usually like to switch between like first person and over your shoulder sometimes. I always did that with Elder Scrolls 4 a lot. And even in uh, Skyrim as well. But I'm not sure if we explore too much around here. Maybe. Not really sure what we're doing. <laughs> Again, see, this is what happens when you miss or when you lose an audio clip and you gotta 
have an audio fill in for me sounding like a jackass not knowing what I'm doing. And there's Rebecca's house, which for some reason I can't go in. Yeah, I do have to apologize that the videos that there is the missing audio for this and I have to do a commentary of the whole thing now. Just a normal commentary without me playing it at the same time. Alright, so we went back to Purtis because we were supposed to talk to him, so... Or... Well, I'll, yeah, tell me a little bit more about the Humanmanar. I would send you to the Archmage, but since he is unreachable, we'll try someone else. So I was supposed to talk to him. And there is a wizard named Lamiel, who's... And people say that he's a great, or was an apprentice of the Archmage. Perhaps you can help advise, or he can help advise you and give you a way to reach the Archmage. Lemiel lives alone in the Eastern Forest, which I expect you'll find him there. Just head, his, head out the East Gate and look out for his cabin. And it's actually good that we have to go into the East Forest because... We also gotta get the ingots, too. So, they're both in that same direction. That's nice. I like the walk cycle for... For, uh... The character is a little bit strange. But then again, it's not as bad. It's not as bad as some other Scrolls games uh, that I know of. <laughs> But yeah, we're off to off to the east gate and start our adventure. Adventure. Ugh. Yeah, there's I'm demonstrating the jump cycle there. And see, now it pops up with this, would you like to purchase the game? It slipped it in there. It was great. I had to pay 9.99 for it. But I did it anyways. I thought fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> Might as well. So I've confirmed my purchase. And moving on. For some reason, I think it put me into the menu there. Now, I'm like running at the door, and I don't know what the hell's going on. And believe it or not, that's how you go through a door. <laughs> and it's great because about... Sitting here, I sat here for about five minutes, which I'll probably cut the, this uh, video footage out here, but what happened here is the game glitched. And it got stuck in a loading limbo because of the purchase thing at the same time, I think. It was great. So I sat here for five minutes waiting for the bar to increase in loading because I thought, okay, this is going to be the loading process. It'll take a while, so I'll skip these you know, loading screens. But it was just this one loading screen, and it glitched and bugged and got me stuck here, and I eventually back out. So, I'll probably go ahead and skip ahead here. That way, you don't have to watch all this. And we're finally back again. It took forever. It, it was just about four or five minutes, as I predicted. And, yeah, pretty much, we I was kind of roaming around there, kind of describing, you know, what happened. It was great. Cause then, you know, when I re-enter it, the loading screen just goes right through, easily. It's because, I think it was because of that purchase glitch. And we're off out into the East Forest place. And yeah, that's when the tutorial shows me how to sneak attack. And it's really cool because it makes you invisible like that. And you just, you can sneak right up. So it's kind of like a... A cooler version of Elder Scrolls Oblivion style. Only I'm not that skilled at it because, yeah, <laughs> you are no longer hidden. But doing that, you know, sneaking around like that, you do increase your uh, sneaking skills. And you can't really sneak up on deer that well. Yeah, you are no longer hidden. Hide failed again. And no, no longer hidden again, or I'm now hidden again, and no longer hidden again. Then pretty much at this point, I'm like, fuck it, I'm just going to kill the deer. <laughs> just run right at him and get him stuck in the corner and 
freaking missed by a mile and somehow hit the deer. I pointed that out last time, it was really weird. And at this point, I didn't realize until later during this uh, playthrough that, or this uh, clip, that I realized that you can loot dead bodies on some animals. Because I tested out on this boar here. I killed this boar, you know, gaining a little bit, little bit of experience. And I look at it for a little while. Or maybe not that one, maybe it's this one. And did a little bit of slow motion there on the attack. But yeah, I observed one of the dead bodies. And realized it's like, oh, you can actually loot it. And do the take all thing. And then I actually go back to the other dead bodies and start looting them too. Now that I know that you can uh, loot dead bodies. Then I just start going crazy and start killing random an animals. And take all their food and fur. Yeah, I, I think I trapped this deer in a corner. Just like the other one. Yep. And dead. They pretty much died just like Elder Scrolls for Oblivion's uh, ragdoll physics. <laughs> Yeah, I go over here and grab this uh, venison meat, too. Yeah, I got some fur, got some bread. Yeah, I, I try to figure out how to use the bread, but I'm not really too sure at this point. Like, how you get to use it, because I thought that's, like, how you heal. But I pretty much try everything, I almost accidentally drop it, I think, at some point. <laughs> yeah, I find out here that this is a weird glitch. That your sword sticks out sometimes if you switch to a perspective. Yeah. <laughs> your sword sticks out when you're blocking. And then if you're blocking while doing that and you move to change your camera angle, you have no sword. So it's really weird how that works sometimes. But, you know, again, that's what you expect for, uh, you know, an early Ouya game. But, you know, at the time, or at this time, it's not too bad. It's not too bad of a game. And, yeah, I leveled up there. I'm not sure if I noticed it or not at this point. But yeah, you can see on the right side, my skills level up fast, or get better, increase. Just running on down, and I find the camping tent here. I thought at first it was a bandit, but it's just a random person named John. Be wary, traveler. There are many dangers in the forest. There are many dangers. Are you all right? <laughs> My camp was attacked by goblins last night. I am a bit shaken up, but otherwise unarmed. But the goblins stole a shipment of iron ingots and was I was delivering to the Dunner and Avon, okay? Their tracks led to northeast. A nice campsite. Thank you, I pitched it myself. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, I check out his stuff he has, and he has a freaking rat on a stick as a weapon. It's a blade, apparently. And I think I said somewhere that I'm going to make it like a personal goal to get that someday. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had a little bit of a burp there a little bit. Yeah, I try to see if I can enter into the tent, and you can't. 
kind of sucks. Oh well. But just pretty much going to be exploring some more. See what else is going on. Kill some more boars along the way. And grab some more fur and some more pork. I think it's pork. And then there's a big old or a big ass house just randomly out here. And that pig was going ape shit there a little bit. Yeah, I, I don't know why I was looking around there. I thought there was something around there, but guess not. So this is a meal's house. So we enter inside and cutscene. Hey, do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm over here. Inside the bottle. I am the male the great at your service. And I'm former apprentice of the Archmage himself. I wield amazing powers of sorcery. So you are a powerful wizard? Come on. Just go, just go to it, dude. Come on. Come on. I don't know why I'm, like, standing here for, like, an hour. Not doing anything. Oh, I think at this point I was trying to, yeah, this may be why I didn't get any uh, audio. It's because I was adjusting my laptop away from my microphone because my laptop was actually getting hot and it was kicking on the fan. It was getting super loud and I tried to move it back and I guess at some point I must have accidentally uh, bumped it to turn off or something. So uh, yeah, I missed that dialogue and didn't get to narrate that. And well, of course, yeah, okay. I'm a powerful lizard, you ignorant fop. Oh, that's right. He called me a freaking fop. That tart. I was insulted by that, too. He called me a fop. You're a fop. A former apprentice? What happened? Just come on, dude. Just, there you go. <laughs> that was a small incident involving a frog and a five-legged goat. But you need not concern yourself with that. I need your assistance. Ah, oh, that's excellent news. I, I, I would be happy to assist you. Nice stutter there, jackass. <laughs> oh, man. If you were the first to assist me in getting out of this or out of here and reversing a spell, I would be glad to help you. Okay, what do I need to do? On the edge of the forest, you'll find an entrance to a large cave system. And journey through the cave and until you find a tunnel that leads into an isolated valley. Take a small vial and fill it with water from the pool and you will find it that you find there. The water contains magic left from the old days and it should be enough to cancel the effect of my spell. Okay, and caverns inhabited by trolls, but you... Okay, so it looks like I should be good to go. You got the empty vial for a little meal. Okay, I'll be back. I sure hope so. I should hope so. I like he says that with faith. And there's a little bottle. You can actually talk to him again quickly now. And go fetch my vinyl water from the enchanted pool. I don't know how much longer I can live like this. Well, why did he put a cork in it? But, yeah, I, I look around here and try to see if I can grab anything. It's a nice fire effect. And I look around up there, you know, see if I can at least go up that ladder, too, in a second. Which you can't, because it's not, like, Oblivion, where if you just enter, like, hit the action button and you go up the ladder, nothing happens. But I'm probably just going to end it here because this was about as far as it went for the video. And I'll just, it's, you know, I just break it up into segments like every 30 minutes. So it's like every two episodes I break up the video. 
So yeah, I'll just break it up here and hopefully the rest of the session will be back to normal.